You know, back when this journey began, I knew that there was an opportunity for greatness, a path to success, the chance to fulfill and, and live out the dreams that I had. And having studied adventure tourism business operations in the Canadian Rocky Mountains, I already had the base level knowledge to get out there and explore the remote corners of our world, the wild places, and capture the essence and natural beauty in the form of photography sharing that with the world, not only with friends and family, no, 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 no. Getting it out there to the entire world. But I knew that there was something missing. I was lacking that sense of inspiration of, of somebody or someone or something that could show me the way. So naturally I turned to YouTube and found a lanky kind of pasty looking foreigner guy but he was making some pretty good content and some nice photos, so I decided to hit that bell for the notifications, like and subscribe, and I became a follower of Mr. Thomas Heaton, AKA T. Fuego, and that is where this journey begins. The path to fine art, nature, outdoor, landscape, wildlife, cultural, and travel photography. Let's go. So after months and months of being a regular watcher of Tom's YouTube channel, I naturally sent dozens of messages, both via Instagram, email, and Facebook, to try and get his attention. And eventually it worked. He decided to come and join us in Patagonia for a classic adventure travel photography workshop experience. Oh. Oh God. I can already feel those likes, guys. I can, I can already feel, feel it. it. Yeah. I can really feel My it. My phone's vibrating and I've not even shot the image. Seriously which was being co-led by myself and Brendan Van Son. Beavers! Now Tom came on reluctantly, but after a little bit of force and a very large paycheck, he decided to come down to Patagonia and join us. And that's where I really saw the true nature of a professional fine art landscape, outdoor travel, nature, landscape photographer. <clears throat> and this is where I saw the real master of photography at work. His dedication to the craft, his dedication to nature, his love of trees is exceptional. It is extremely inspiring. So much so that I would just watch from a distance. I would observe Tom like a, like a domestic animal and learn from the way that he sort of embraced the nature before setting up his composition and finding balance. And it's something that really stuck with me still to this day as I continue my journey towards fine art, professional landscape, travel, culture, photography. And I really have learned a lot from that. You think you, think you know trees? Trees are so much more than just a, a subject, a well-balanced you know, thing in your composition. No, 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 my friends. Trees are living beings. They have bark, they have moss, they have color, they have leaves which change color and you can be one with the tree if you take the time to respect the tree and really understand the tree. And that is when it becomes more than just your image, but a, a, a projection of that living being. And that is what I learned from Tom, to embrace yourself in nature, not just look at it, take a picture. No, 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 my friends, we are creating art and what i mean by that is taking multiple photos of the same thing running it through ai software and being able to create something that looks so unreal that people when you go back home they're gonna have it on their phone and they're gonna have to go like this they're not gonna know what they are looking at it's so beautiful that's what i'm talking about i've learned to immerse myself in nature to see it in a way that no others do really and i think that tom showed me that and I'll be forever grateful. It's, uh, it's such a beautiful thing when you see somebody in the wild and you can understand what it is that they're seeing and then create something better. Taking it to the next level, taking it from 10 and turning it up to 11 Spinal Tap. This 
is the opportunity that we have here in Patagonia is to immerse yourself. You think that you're sitting on a good composition? You think that you can see? My friends, you cannot see <coughs> what I see. I am willing to go the extra level now. I've learned and I will share with you right now this one piece of information. You take yourself and you immerse yourself. You take yourself one step further than everybody else is willing to go. You don't look for that obvious shot, the classic iconic image. No, 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 my friends. You go the other way. You turn your camera 90 degrees away from that epic subject and you find something unique for yourself because nature is there waiting for you. It is there, it is vibrant and alive and we can immerse ourselves in it to get a much better shot than anybody else has. I mean, it's, it's gonna be so good that people just won't even believe that it's real and, and I mean it. When I get into editing and I start utilizing that AI, you are going to be mind blown. You're gonna be like, wow, that red is so red. How did it get that red? And I'll say it was like that because it was right here. And that's what I'm trying to, trying to do. So my journey continues. My journey towards fine art, landscape, nature, outdoor, travel, and cultural photography will continue. And you, my friends, sitting at home, have a once in a lifetime opportunity for a limited time only to join me on location. Just like Tom said. I would say, well, the first thing I would say is it's not, it's not something you can teach. You can't teach it. You either have it or you don't. You can pay to come with me and I will show you what I see. I will immerse you into the cold water. I will immerse you into the location where you can create images unlike mine, but still pretty good. And, and you've got that opportunity. You know what? You could even pay to bring a significant other or a friend and we will bring them as well. Even if they have phones, they can still capture the beauty that we will find because of me. And that is what this journey is all about. So naturally, if you wanna take advantage of this opportunity to join me on location in the wild, in the remote corners of this earth, if you wanna grab life by the battery grip, if you wanna take it to the next level, then link is in the description below and we will be on a journey together. We will chase the best light that you've ever seen, creating unnatural images that look nothing like any man has ever seen before. And that, my friends, is the opportunity that I present to you today. We could even be chasing this awe together, chasing awe, chase awe, chasing awe. No, that, that sounds kind of stupid. I think maybe stunning, awesomely stunning, awesomely stunning. Stunningly awesome. Absolutely. No, yeah, St awesomely stunning. Yes, that's the tagline. Awesomely stunning fine art landscape, travel, tourism, and cultural landscape photography adventures are on your doorstep. So like and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Take a lower, uh, lower moss. Like this. No, that's what lazy people do. I'm not lazy. I work hard for my photos, Pierre. All right. How dare you even question me? Honestly, it's not funny. It's funny. No. Yeah, it is. Because you didn't work hard for your photos. I w Did you not just see how <laughs> how high my arm was? <laughs> Normally, I would bring a step ladder. Um. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why, you why is that funny? Your tripod to look, uh, try to my look tripod is this. That's my second tripod. I have a. <laughs> I have a tripod right here. I have a second tripod. I have two tripods. Yeah. No. Man. <laughs> All right. Yeah.
How am I gonna take video of myself without a second tripod? Everybody, everybody that I look up to uses two tripods, at least. <laughs> who you look? At least. Who you look up? I look up to many people. Like yeah. boom. Well, I look up to Michael Shane Bloom. Uh -huh. Look up to Nick Page. They don't use Kim them. Grant. Kim, yeah, she uses two tripods. He? She, Kim. Ah, Kim. I asked her. You're she right? might even use three. Who knows? <laughs> Not there for what? For take a picture, take a picture. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Let's go. Relax.